it's time for a pick a pile. Um, haven't done one of these for a bit, but I thought it might be about time. Uh, put one together for you here and we'll see what happens. So we have three decks um, that you can choose from. Deck one, which has a little moon crystal on it. Deck two, it has a little heart crystal on it. And deck three, well, this is a pinky purple crystal on it, okay? So yeah, so we're gonna have a look, see what's going on. We'll start with pile one, work our way through. So just decide which one resonates with you. Take a moment and if you want to meditate on whatever deck you choose, and you can choose more than one if you like to, okay? So let's get started. We are going to start with, again, we have the moon here, and this is the um, uh, Tower of the Divine, okay? And then we have this little heart labradorite, and that is uh, the Morgan Greer Tarot. And then this one, hmm, this one is, geez, I always forget the name of this one. Um... It is just a classic deck. I don't know why. I can never remember what it is. But it's the Dreamers or something like that. So, yeah. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I can note it for you guys after, okay? Anyway, it has the pink crystal on it, okay? So, let's get started. Let's clear out these other two. Whoa. And we'll get started with the first deck, okay? So I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Um, it's a little bit more windy here today than it has been, uh, but not nearly as hot. So, you know, good and bad, right? Okay, so let's see what your messages are for the next few days, okay? We have Ace of Swords. We have the Five of Coins. We have the Six of Cups. Well, so far, okay, along for this few days, this next week, I do feel like you're gonna be making a lot of decisions, okay? New ideas popping up, new decisions on which way to go, mostly around family and home. So yeah, and I feel there's a little bit of worry of scarcity. So a little bit of worry that you're not gonna have enough money, okay? And you know, that is so typical of today and so many people what they're worried about. Um, change your thought change your idea, you're going to be okay. You know, I truly do believe that you will be all right, all right? Um, you do have to work hard, so it's not an easy task, okay? Um, it's going to require some hard work, but you keep putting in the work and it's going to pay off, okay? Um, things are going to get much, much better. You need a work-life balance as well. You have to look at that, okay? I mean, it's really good to work a lot, but it's also important that you take care of what's yours. You take care of the people in your life, the people that love you, and not get so focused on what you're accomplishing or how to accomplish things that you let those relationships kind of fall back, okay? So make sure you are um, doing your best as far as uh, being present in your relationships, okay? Um, I feel like there's lots of love around you. So whatever you're battling or whatever someone in your life is battling, which may be an addiction, okay? And this addiction could drag you down. I just feel that there's enough love here that you're willing to stand behind somebody or yourself for a while if this is you, okay? But you're not going to be able to do that if there's not an intervention of some kind. Counseling, you know, um, somebody talking, someone going to a program. Someone has to be willing to get some help, okay? And I do believe that 
it is imperative that this happens soon, okay? Uh, the longer it lingers, the worse it's going to get. Um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that people have to wait, you know, till it gets so bad before they do anything about it. And I mean, that is just par for the course, right? But yeah, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? I'm also seeing that there is a female around you that needs, um, that loves your compassion, that loves your um, um, thoughts for humanity, you know, that loves the idea that you will nurture and, and that you're so kind. And I think they're craving that from you right now. So whether maybe your mom needs a little bit of extra attention or a sibling or a really good friend, right? Just wrap your arms around them, give them a big hug and let them know everything's going to be okay. I think that is probably the kindest thing you can do for somebody right now, okay? So in this, you know, day of uncertainty, sometimes that's all we need is a hug. So just to wrap it up, I'm seeing a lot of success with work. I'm seeing an opportunity coming for you by the end of the week or so. Um, you know, give it, you know, a week and you should have a new opportunity or a um, raise or something like that, okay? It feels new. It feels um, exciting. It feels like it's going to be a big benefit to you, okay? And I feel as far as career goes, you're on the upswing, okay? After this week, I feel like this week is a little hard, but after this week, your career is going to just zoom forward, all right? I've, you've had to be patient, 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 waiting for things to happen. Well, if you chose pile one, things are gonna start happening for you pretty quickly on the work front, okay? So that is your reading, my dear. So if you chose pile one, um, that was the reading for you, okay? So pile number two was this one. And we had the um, Labradorite heart on there, okay? So yeah, so if you chose a Labradorite heart, this is a reading for you for the next week or so, okay? So let's have a look and see what we get. Well, we have a box card. We'll just lay that one down. <laughs> Again, you know, uh, your focus might be work as well. You know, making sure that you are doing everything you can to get whatever that is that you want, right? So you have the three of coins. You have you know, the nine of coins, and you have the four of coins. So all this is all about material stuff. It's all about your home. It's all about money. You know, it's all about everything practical like that, right? And it looks like it's very, very good this week. Hard work is going to reap many, many rewards for you. Um, and then as you get into the week, I feel like you're going to be celebrating. There's going to be, you know, you're going to be out having fun, a good celebration going on, and then all hell's going to break loose, okay? So something's going to happen to cause somebody to leave, all right? So I feel like there's a breakdown in communication. There's a breakdown in, you know, uh, um, understanding. Um, there's a breakdown in... Um, um, being there for each other, compassion, okay? And I feel like something's going to happen to kind of cause a big problem, all right? I do believe that this has to do um, with uh, someone that you care about, someone that you're involved with, um, a partner or a boyfriend or girlfriend, something like that, okay? Um, there's going to be a big issue come up and someone's walking away. Now, they might not walk away forever, but they're definitely walking away. 
They're not looking at a situation in a mature way. They're reacting to a situation, okay? Um, they're reacting instead of acting. And often reaction is no good, okay? Um, I do believe that this will be repaired, okay? So I can see that it will be repaired. Love will be restored. But until this is dealt with, uh, on an emotional level, which I don't see it being dealt with here, um, until it's dealt with, forgiven, all that stuff, um, until it's talked about, um, it's going to rear its ugly head every once in a while, okay? So listen to your intuition when it comes to this, okay? Listen to your intuition when you want to get ahead. Listen to your intuition when... You're hoping that things are going to go better, all right? So um, you had really good work going. You're having a really good time. There's an argument, a fight. There's something going on. All hell breaks loose. Somebody leaves. Then I see them coming back. And again, you're going to repeat this cycle over and over again until you get to the bottom, to the root of the issue, okay? Okay. Um, listen to your intuition. Really, really important here. Your intuition will guide you through to see what you need to do next, okay? And then kind of the whole idea or the whole sum of it, however you want to put it, um, the sum of it is going to be that you can't get through anything without honesty, hard work, and leaving the past behind. So you have to leave the past behind. Even though there's fears and insecurities, if you keep bringing them forward or your partner keeps bringing them forward, it's going to cause problems, okay? So, um, yeah, so just be careful there that you're willing to look at things and move past them. And if you're not in a relationship with this, it could be the relationship you have with yourself, that you are beating yourself up, that you won't let go of your past. You're going along just great, and then something triggers you, and again, you beat yourself up, and you just go on and on and on like that. Um, well, again, you're not going to have that love in your life, or you're not going to feel good, Um until this is dealt with, until there's some self-compassion and some forgiveness, okay? So that is you if you chose pile number two. And then pile number three was with the pink or purple stone. Now, sometimes I look at it, it looks very, very purple like here. And over here, I look very, very pink. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a purpley pink stone, okay? So, yeah, so let's have a look. If you chose pile number three, let's see what's in store for you, my dear. So, high priestess, the moon, the tower. Wow, 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 wow. You know, trust your intuition, okay, over the next week. Super, super important. Um, these both cards, you know, lead to um, talk about intuition. They lead to talk about mysteries of life, okay? Uh, the moon tends to talk about maybe forgetting that and getting caught not being able to see your way out of a situation, you know, um, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, right? But you can but this is kind of the tower moment is really um, not a fun time, right? And it is going to bring you down, all right? Let's see what this is, you know, see if we can find any rhyme or reason for it, right? I feel like you're being put in a predicament where you need to choose. You need to choose A or B, right? So what are you going to do? And I feel that both choices are hard. Both choices are not easy, okay? But 
the sooner you choose, the quicker uh, you will have some relief, okay? Um, but you want to make sure you're understanding you're not making a rash, you know, impulsive decision. Weigh the, the odds both ways, but you do have to make a decision, okay? Um, this is about a person in your life that is, hmm, they are very busy. They are very creative. Um, but they're stuck in their life, okay? Could be, I, I tend to call people like this emotional vampires. They suck the life out of you. You know what I mean? So you have to really um, take care of yourself through this. And don't allow somebody to do that, okay? Have boundaries with people. It's okay to help. It's okay to be there for someone. But it's not okay to let someone kind of suck you dry, you know, where you have no energy left for yourself. So just know, I do believe this is only going to last, you know, a short time, okay? This tower moment is no more than three weeks, maybe even less, okay? I feel it's an identity crisis or someone around you is having an identity crisis and want you to fix it, one or the other, okay? So pay attention, if it is you, bring yourself back to ground zero, ground yourself really well, start over again. Make some plans to um, kind of help you look forward to the future, so start making some plans, okay? And that might help pull you out of this moment, all right? I feel like there's travel for you soon, and I feel like it's going to be very good. So let's sum this up. We're going to sum this up as basically um, you need to make really good, strong decisions for yourself, okay? Don't let other people try to control you, manipulate you, and make you change your mind about things. That's where you find you get yourself in trouble, all right? I feel like you should think about things, but don't procrastinate about things, okay? So make sure that you are understanding how you feel, what you want, where you're going. Um, without direction, you know, you just kind of fumble through. So I think journaling would help to get through these hard times you know, the journaling will help to help you figure out where you want to go and also make plans so you can actually see it happening, okay? So you can get excited about it. And another big, big, big thing is to trust your intuition, okay? So there you go, my dear. There is your reading if you chose pile number three. So I just want to say thank you guys for being here with me. Um, this was fun. Haven't done it in a while, and it was a blast. <laughs> we will see you again very, very soon, okay? Bye for now.